welcome to another video this time we will make a colorful glass uh, material with caustic on the floor in cinema 4d and red tip um, hope you will enjoy this uh, tutorial let's jump into the cinema so i have my basic uh, scene set up uh, if you check we have a very simple tube and a dome light for uh, the light like overall lighting and the spotlight this spotlight is very important for the caustic so we'll talk about this later and for dome light i have used uh, uh, an hdri uh, photo studio with umbrella and uh, for the scene i have a very simple tube with some subdivision so that it it uh, becomes smoother and for the floor i have a very simple floor with uh, like almost 5000 5000 and if we check i have some reflectors so this will be very important uh, to get the colorful reflection on the glass material so we'll talk about this later and we have this glass balls just to give some visual interest in the scene i have um, used a cloner uh, with a spare one is like for setups and one is like front setups so these are pretty simple setups i have used a random effector for both of the uh, cloner and that's all uh, for the scene so let's uh, make the materials and get the thing done Okay, so if we render it right now, it will not look good, definitely, because we don't have something interested in it. We have a, um, we don't have light, we don't have material. So if we turn on, before that, I wanna show you something. Because in the render setup, normally the sampling is uh, uh, 0.01 for threshold, but it will take a long time to render so as we go for the preview so i will make it like 0.5 so that we can have a faster preview if i turn on my dome light this day right i have a little like adjustment with it because i think i love this setup maybe it is uh, not showing something now, but when we add the materials, then we'll get the difference. So this is our history setup, and we don't need the spotlight right now. Let's make the floor material first. As we are in the uh, render setup in redshift mode, so we can create our redshift material. So make the redshift new standard material uh, this material is very interesting to me and uh, I, I use this material so much so this will be our floor uh, let's rename it I will add nothing special only a uh, bump map so go to get the uh, nodes you need to click here uh, though I don't like this it should it is better to have it default uh, but we can lock it this way and you we, we can use it for as long as you need so we need a texture for the bump so this is the texture node and if we go to the path and i will use this for my bump yeah so it uh, kind of look like this we can we don't need we can use no we need a uh, bump map for that and we will connect it to the input and this bump map go to the bump map so there's oh sorry let's have it on the floor and now it something looks like this but it's uh, it's something too much for me maybe we can crank it down a little bit like 0.2 should work fine and i think we're fine with the floor material 
and if we need we can change it later now make the main class material so oh, we don't need this we actually use the standard material for the class 2 just rename it class and assign it on the tube so for the glass material we don't need the color we can make it black if we want we need actually first transmission just make it full so it will full transparent we don't need so much roughness on it maybe 0 0.01 will be better because we want to make it very glossy but it's it's nice to have a little roughness on it and upward like maybe we can crank the reflection a little bit okay something like that and this part this part base it, you're fine sheen you're fine with the default setup maybe i will since since something here you can do some experiment but uh, if we for something three and around 80 uh maybe a little less like 70 it will give us a very interesting color though it is not so prominent but um, it is it is giving us some something that we can play with that we can we can use it to uh, to make it uh, more vibrant later on so that's like starting point for us and see the um, bump on the floor and the reflection on it I, I i really love this and maybe we can uh, assign the same material to our class ball already yeah this looks good to me now we can start to have uh, our uh, caustic first for getting the caustic we have to think two th important thing first if i turn on the spotlight it's the default spotlight i want to make some adjustment on it uh, 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 on default it is like 40 I will make it 50 and uh, if uh, fall of angle is 5 I will make it 52 because in, in that case I can have a, a soft um, soft angle over, over, over the light here and it looks better to me to get the caustic we have to do two important thing one thing in the spotlight and that is caustic by default it is off so it will be something like that we can turn it on it's saying caustic photons this is the first step and the second step is the thing who is will cast the cost uh, caustic so this tube will cast the caustic so for that we need a red shift object tag and in the object tag if we go to the visibility and override it then there is another bar another another button like caustic cast caustic photon so if we turn it then it will cast caustic so this object will cast caustics and this spotlight will help to cast the caustic so now to get the result we have to turn on the bucket mode so if we turn on the bucket mode and re-render it now we can check whether we are getting the caustic or not sorry uh, uh, this doesn't look good so we have to adjust some parameters here so first of all the uh, default uh, number of photons is like five fifty thousand we need to crank it up maybe something like this and intensity maybe two and we can check How does it look now? Mm, 
much better right this is much better so we can work in the render setup a little bit on default the um, blur radius is 0.5 this is are very sharp to me so I will crank a little bit like 1.5 and now if we check maybe we can spend some time here but we need to see that how how does it look and tube is not a good uh, like a good kind of object to have a very interesting caustic effect uh, if we use like other models that again give us very interesting um, um, interesting uh, um, caustic uh, but um, uh, we, we are going to have the setups and, and then we can play around uh, like with a different uh, models different object so that it can be visually interesting but right now uh, yeah th 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 this th this seems f interesting to me and, and so for now I will turn off the caustics and turn off the bucket mode because I want to uh, add reflective color on our tube so let's do it for that uh, we don't need caustics on it maybe we can turn off this also so that we can have bus faster preview for the reflection like I have you I have this reflector so if you check these are very basic primitive objects just I have uh, put them around the tube but one thing you need to remember that this spotlight is helping to emit the caustic so it can't be blocked so you have to put the uh, elements in that way so that it the photons can hit the object which is uh, emitting the caustics so that's the only one thing uh, you can play with that you can uh, play with the placement of those objects to uh, have the interesting reflection but for this uh, I have placed the object in this way and let's uh, make uh, some material for that okay for the reflectors I will use uh, another material maybe it can be uh, default uh, material because we use uh, incandescent maybe my pronunciation is not that good but uh, yeah you know what it is and we will use a ramp for that connect it to the illumination color and we don't this material we actually connect directly to the surface and that will be fine so this is our basic setup for the reflectors so right now i will only add some color into it just do it maybe i will start something orange something like that and something blue maybe then okay so from orange we can go to red and from blue we can have something lighter blue something like that and just put them okay I will show this later just put them on all objects first I don't wanna see them on render so that's the thing I wanna show you I think you know that uh, we need a red shift object tag for that and in the object tag for the visibility we will 
turn off the primary ray visibility and also the shadow yeah we don't want the shadow so this is um, this is the reflectors working and it is it is adding a lot of interest to our scene and you can play with the pattern we, we can play with the, the color maybe we can uh, add another color variation on it maybe reflection two and for that we can change the color maybe this time we don't need this can be very simple like lighter part and this part can be something like this or maybe something like this we can assign it to some other parts or maybe this one yeah something like that so that we can have some more variation on um, to understand and now if we check our caustics it's good need to turn on the caustic here and run a blur radius 1.5 is fine sampling I will stay with this because otherwise it will take long time maybe we can go into the bucket mode now and check how does it look now okay maybe this will take a little time but uh, yeah let's see how, how how is our output I really like the way it looks like uh, that the bump is giving uh, much interesting um, visual to our scene and the caustics also we can crank the intensity a little more maybe three or something like that and definitely we can add uh, some depth of field poker focus distance maybe we can crank it a little bit maybe five yeah so yeah this way we can have some depth of field uh, as you see here and um, the floor the caustics the reflection over the glass i think i'm pretty happy with that and definitely we can play with this and um, make it more interesting uh, using uh, uh, other type of objects some models uh, or some much more interesting objects will give us uh, much more interesting caustics and um, definitely we can play with that and yeah it is always uh, always better to play around those things and parameters um, and maybe uh, uh, with some other colors so that we can make the thing more interesting uh, and that's all uh, uh, thanks for watching and um, it will be super helpful if you uh, give a like and subscribe to my channel. I will be more um, inspired to do uh, more tutorials in the future. Thanks.